Hello, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to be covering how to monitor a switch or a router using Nagios XI. So we'll go to Configure, Configuration Wizards, and that's how we start off. We'll filter by Network Devices and click Network Switch slash Router. We'll enter the IP address of our Network Switch slash Router, and remember you'll have to have SNMP defined on this device already for this, uh, for this wizard to work properly. We can enter the SNMP community string right here. Nagios private is the community string that I have set up on my uh, on my remote switch. Then we choose whether or not to scan the interfaces of the switch or router. I would leave this ticked if you're looking to um, get the most out of what this wizard can offer you. We'll press next, and what Nagios XI will do is it'll use that community string to talk to the switch or router in question and pull back a list of all of its interfaces, and then it'll automatically set up services for those uh, for those interfaces. So you can see that we have uh, ports 1 through 25. Port 25 is actually a CPU plane, but ports 1 through 24 are normal interfaces, and what Nagios XI will do is it'll monitor both the bandwidth and the status of all of these ports. It'll also, uh, it'll also ping the switch to make sure that it uh, you know stays up. So we can hit next here, and we can also hit uh, finish for the purposes of this demonstration. I'll just hit finish so we can uh, we can get right to it. Now we can enter 5.41 here and take a click on this host. And that's uh, that's all she wrote. We have bandwidth and statuses for all of our uh, 25 ports. We are also monitoring the CPU plane on port 25. So for instance, uh, port 1 bandwidth. We could click on this little icon. You can see uh, historically how much bandwidth has been in uh, use by this port. I've actually had the service running for uh, for quite some time before we ran through that wizard, but this is exactly the same service. So what we can do is uh, click in and take a look at one particular period of time in terms of its uh, bandwidth usage. You can see the time adjusts accordingly. 43, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff. If there are some other health checks, of course, you can uh, you can add them through some some custom plugins. But this is uh, this is plenty enough to get you started. And that's how you monitor a router or a switch with Nagios. Hopefully, it uh, simplifies the process quite a bit. If you have any questions about uh, you know router or switch monitoring, check out our support forum at support.nagios.com/forum, and feel free to check out related content on our YouTube channel. Thanks.